the focus of the herbal facial oil is really to maintain a balance to the skin. And so this is helpful for skin types that are pretty normal and not really too far in one direction or the other. Um, it is not necessarily as supportive for staving off signs of aging or helping to kind of reduce the appearance of signs of aging as the anti-aging facial oil is. That one, it is a little bit richer. It starts with a jojoba oil and then the seed blend uh, that's steeped into it. Those are very antioxidant rich. The, the direction of the anti-aging facial oil is maintaining the strength and kind of like youthful glow. Um, which is a little bit different than the herbal facial oil. And if you've been using the anti-aging facial oil and are finding that that feels good, that one still might be the best fit for you. Now with the larger pores on the nose, what you might find is that the anti-aging facial oil does work with your skin and that over probably likely like a skin cycle, 28 to 35 days, that those naturally kind of reduce in size. What you might find also, though, is that there's enough of kind of this like sebum buildup in it, the pore that they either need to be extracted or need to be kind of supported by some form of exfoliation. Um, and, every, you know, with extractions, every state is different in terms of the legality that they'll allow estheticians to do. So you could go to a spa and they don't let you they don't do extractions on the nose there it just would depend and you would want to either ask you know call and ask or something like that um but exfoliation is a super helpful way to maintain like kind of this cleanliness of the pore um, large pores can happen especially as we age because your skin cell cycle starts to slow down and it can kind of build up and exfoliating, so especially for normal and combo skin, you can pretty much handle almost any version that we offer. We have three options. I don't actually have the Ayurvedic, but it's the most mild, and so I won't talk about it quite as much. It's a loose, dry exfoliant, and you wet your fingers and kind of create a paste with it. The other options... This is the kaolin microexfoliant, and this is in a BPA-free lined aluminum tubing here. And the texture of this is pretty truly like what you think of when you think of a skin scrub. It's got a good amount of texture to it. It's kind of in like a creamy consistency. Um, the blend of it also has uh, kaolin. And so it's naturally kind of pulling impurities, excess oil, all of that to it. Uh, this one, just an aside, is a good one for the body as well. So if you're looking for something that is dual purpose, this is good for the body. Um, and this is good for pretty much any skin type. It's a little bit intense if you're really sensitive. So if you are someone who's prone to like, you know, feeling really sensitive or reacting quickly to products, that one can be a little bit too much texture. Um, but otherwise most skin types can handle it. And then the third one is the resurfacing facial exfoliant. Now this one's different. This is a gel consistency that is a honey derived lactic acid like base. So it's pretty active. Um, if you are sensitive or tend to be on the sensitive side, it's, it might be too much for you, but you wear this one like a mask. You apply it and leave it on for, I think it says up to 10 minutes. You can do as little as two or three. If your skin's like oh, really active, I want to take it off. Um, you can remove it. And it's this very kind of like polished resurfaced feel. So in aiding in kind of reducing the size, reducing the appearance of a, you know, large pores, maintaining this kind of like healthy, like, exfoliation of the skin, it can be helpful so that this isn't like building up and impacting in a pore.